I'm Jake Seely with Football.com with big questions and big D now that DeMarco Murray is hurt yet again. Seems to be a yearly issue heading all the way back to his college days. Owners need to know what to do, though. Who do you look for in the waiver wire? Actually, even teams that need running backs during these bye weeks, you might have an opportunity to help yourself here. Question, like I said, who do you attack on the waiver wire? Is it Lance Dunbar or Joseph Randall? Hate to tell you this, there's not a clear answer. Lance Dunbar would be the clear option and the number one player behind DeMarco Murray if he was healthy. He's been dealing with hamstring injuries the past two weeks. Joseph Randall looked good, but he didn't do very well in the preseason, fell back in the depth chart, could take over the job if Dunbar is out, but as, like I said, we don't know yet. So hopefully we'll know Wednesday morning, have a clearer picture on what Dunbar's situation is. That being said, if you are the number one waiver priority, or you're a DeMarco Murray owner, or actually just need running back help in general, you got to jump on somebody. Hopefully we'll know about Dunbar. He'll be the one to pick if he's healthy. Joseph Randall jumps him if not. Try and grab one if not both of them. Could help you then this week in week seven, possibly even week eight, as Murray could be out two to four weeks. It is a sprained MCL. Unclear timetable. Don't expect too much, though. Just expect a flex value, maybe even an RB4, depending on what type of depth you have on your team. So it is somebody that could help. We are in the bye weeks. If you're a Murray owner, you have to jump, get some help for your team. But don't expect too much because this could be a muddy situation going forward for the rest of the time that Murray's out.